Hi there, and welcome to the Home Studio Rescue here on YouTube. My name is Chris, and today I'm going to be talking about whether or not Arturia plugins are a better value for mixing than Universal Audio. Basically, I'm going to be going over the FX2 collection, which is about 22 plugins from Arturia that I'm lucky enough that I reached out to them and they sent them to me for me to make a video on. I became curious on this company after I made a video on their tape Mellofy plugin when it was free before New Year's. And so this is kind of a paid promotion in the sense that once I'm done making this video, I'm going to get the bundle. It's gonna be mine, I'm gonna own it. And I'm very excited about that because they make great plugins. So part of the reason I became curious about the FX2 collection was this plugin right here. It's called the Memory Brigade, but it's named after a Memory Man guitar pedal, which I was a guitar player for a long time and I had a Memory Boy pedal. And I always wished that that could be made into a plugin for delay because it's an awesome delay. It also has a vibrato section right here, which is very cool as well. And in another video coming soon, I'm gonna be going over how I've used these plugins in a mix. But today I'm just gonna be mostly talking about the value of them versus versus spending a bunch of money on Universal Audio. It's gonna be about the FX2 collection and before we get into any of that, there's links below in the description. If you need coaching on what gear to buy or how to use it or how to just make the best music you can in your home recording studio, you can email me at homestudiorescue at gmail.com or you can click the link down below and have a free Zoom call with me and we can see if I can help you more. So Arturia versus Universal Audio plugins. We're going to talk about the cost. I'm just going to kind of go over some of the advantages and disadvantages. So first we're going to talk about the cost, which is the Arturia plugins in Individually, they cost about $100 each. Uh, they do have sales twice a year, but they also have these virtual instruments, which I haven't gotten to try, but those are $150 to $200 a plugin. Universal Audio, their plugins range somewhere between $50 to $300. They have sales twice a year. You can usually, during those sales, bundle anywhere from like, if you pay, I think it's uh, $400 or $300, you'll get four plugins. So it's like a little bit under $100 a plugin. So they do have some sales that make it a little bit more reasonable and then Arturia has the FX2 collection which is what they sent me and I've been using it all over the place and so it comes with 22 plugins for $399 and so that basically comes to almost like somewhere around $18 a plugin, which is a really insane value. There's at least five to seven plugins that I've been using in that bundle that I really just enjoy and love. One of them is the Bus Force plugin. Now, uh, <laughs> it's kind of a silly name, but it comes with an equalizer section. You can see here it has a high pass filter and a low pass filter. It's a three band EQ. It has a compressor and then it has a saturation section, which I use. It's kind of like salt. It just makes everything everything a little bit better and so I've been using the overdrive and the harmonic distortion and then it has a section too where you can kind of get a clipping effect and so I'm not just using this on my master bus which I think is what it was intended for I use it on drums I use it on anything that I just kind of want to soup up a little bit and the next video I'm going to be making on the Arturia plugins you're going to see how I'm using that in a mix but this is one of my favorite plugins I've been using it on all sorts of stuff it's a hundred bucks but if you get it with the collection like I said, it's like 18 bucks or something. And then the rev plate here, uh, if I was to open up Pro Tools right now and show you how many reverbs I have, it would probably be 50 to 100. This is maybe my favorite plate reverb I've ever used. I have a bunch of Universal Audio plugins. This thing, sometimes I'll put a delay in front of it, I'll put a compressor after it, and I'll put some EQ. But this thing, it it's like a tube reverb, and it's modeled after old plate reverbs that that's what we that's what they used in the 50s 60s and these things would take up a whole room and you can actually drive the signal here and then they've got three different models that you can choose from and then you can decrease the decay and then it has a wet knob where you can decide how much you want in it and then the width you can either have it fully stereo or mono at zero and this plugin's great it's one of my favorite reverbs that I've ever used and it's just very quick I don't have to mess with it too much to get it to sound great here's the other plugin this is the one that made me reach out to Arturia and ask, hey, can you guys send me this stuff so I can do a video on it? It's one of my favorite delay plugins ever. And like I said earlier in the video, it has this vibrato section, which really adds some vibe if you put it on a piano or a guitar. And also it's got this analog feel where it's not a digital thing that lasts forever. It kind of degrades in a nice way. And it also softens the signal. It does. It just does this analog thing that's very cool. And the delay sounds great as well. The other plugin I really love is 
is the tape echo this is modeled after the roland tape delay and this thing adds all sorts of vibe it's a tape delay and you can sync it up in your session which is really cool and then it has a reverb section and then it has different heads that you can use with the selector here and so i will be showing you guys that in the next video but this is a great delay and so i'm very excited about that and the fx2 collection to me is a great value at 399 dollars for 22 plugins they've got a stay level compressor which i've been using which i do like that compressor it's very transparent if you're looking to have compression that you're not really going to hear it's great for vocals for bass i actually had a real stay level which is like a 2700 hundred dollar compressor so to have a plug-in version of that is great they also have an 1176 which is very good okay so as far as are arturia plugins a better value than universal audio for mixing i would say the answer is yes just because universal audio plugins are very expensive and this little thing right here that says dsp You've got to have a lot of ESP. Uh, I have an Apollo that has four chips. I have a UAD satellite that has four chips. And then I have an old UAD satellite that has four chips as well. So I've got 12 and I still couldn't do a mix completely with Universal Audio plugins. So when it comes to mixing, I definitely would say Arturia, you can put as many of those plugins on your mix as your computer can handle and as your session will allow from whatever DAW you're using. As far as the value goes, you can get the whole FX2 collection for 400 bucks. So basically 22 plugins at $18 a pop. I think it's a great value. Is it gonna completely replace Universal Audio or anything like that? I still have UAD plugins I use with these plugins as well, So, but do you need universal audio plugins no do you need arturia i don't think you do but as far as which one's a better value i think you get a lot more bang for your buck with arturia and you don't have to have universal audio hardware and you can use as many of those plugins as you want which is a great thing in comparison to having to worry about managing dsp with universal audio so there's a lot of stuff out there where you don't need to buy universal audio so if you guys got any value out of this video please hit the like and subscribe button also there's links below for a free zoom call with me we can talk about whatever it is that you need help with when it comes to recording or just making your music sound better so thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you on the next one